Hey guys, welcome to another DaVinci Resolve editing tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create an RGB split effect or an RGB glitch effect, whichever one you want to call it. It's also known as a prism blur effect as well. I'm going to be showing you two different ways to create this effect. One will be inside of the color tab and the other is inside the edit page. And both methods are really easy to do. So let's open up DaVinci Resolve and let's start editing. Okay, so I've loaded up two clips into my DaVinci Resolve timeline. All right, so let's go to the color tab. So this first technique that I'm going to show you is probably the technique that I use the most just because I have more flexibility with how much of the chromatic aberration, the RGB split type effect that I want to control. I've got more control over that. And then the next technique is going to be something that's a little bit more simpler to do, but you don't have that much control over it. So. Let's start off with this first technique and it's very simple to do. I'm going to select our node over here and on my keyboard, I'm just going to hit Alt and Y and that will create this RGB channel. So we've got our red channel, our green channel and our blue channel. Um, this is like the old technique of doing it, but I actually prefer doing it this way just because yeah, you've got much more control over the image. So I'm actually going to just focus on the red channel just because I like the look of it, but you can go in and you can adjust all of these. With the red channel, I'm just gonna go down to um, our sizing over here, and I'm gonna go over and make sure that we're in node sizing. So this little icon over here, you can just hover over it. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just gonna go over to sizing and to the zoom, and I'm just going to adjust the zoom. So I'm gonna zoom in a fair bit, and I already like the red and cyan. So this is actually looking pretty good but we can make this better by not having the effect on her face. So what we can do, we can go over to this red node over here, make sure we're on that and just go over to our window and I'm just going to choose this circle mask. And as you can see, when I hover over it, you've got different parts of the image selected. So we want to isolate just her face so we don't have the red and blue channels shifted there. So to fix that, you go over to this little icon over here next to the circle and we'll click that and that just simply inverts the mask. So I'm just going to readjust the mask over here. Um, I might make this a little bit smaller. I'm going to adjust this red dot here and that adjusts the softness, the feathering. But the only problem with this is she moves. So I'm going to go to this first frame just to make it a little bit easier and I'm just going to make sure that it's on her face on the first frame and then I'm going to go over to this next window here and I'm just simply going to track it. Everything's selected. I'm happy with that and I'm just going to track forward and it just automatically detects her face. Now we've got this RGB split effect inside of the color tab. Now we can go even further. Um, we can add a bit of a blurry background. So what we can do is we go over to the first node here and I'm just going to go to the effects and I'm going to go to the directional blur and I'm just going to select that. And I'm just gonna choose my blur strength, blur angle, might make it a bit more horizontal, so around there. Leave it at realistic, uh, replicate. Replicate will just allow it to fill in the border here just so it's not going to like a black edge. So as you can see, the blur effect is on the whole image and we wanna isolate the person. So just like the previous step, I'm just gonna go down to the window and I'm gonna choose this circle and I'm just going to, might make the full body just so there's a bit more in focus. I'm gonna feather it even more and I'm just gonna invert it. And the same thing as before, just track it. So that's how you do the prism blur RGB split effect inside the color tab. If you wanna make this more of a glitch effect, we can actually duplicate this. So let's just go control C Control V, it's gonna bring this one to the top. So when I've got video two disabled, we've got the original clip underneath it. So what we can do is if you wanted to create some awesome glitch type effects where it just comes on for like a split second, make multiple cuts, just assume that there's some music underneath this and I'm cutting to the beat of the song and I'm just gonna go back to the arrow and I'm just going to select this. Every second clip I'm just going to select Okay, so now when I play this back, we've got this like glitch type effect on our clip. We can actually make this look better because as you can see, it just 
kind of pops in and out. There's no real transition. So what we can do to make this smoother, we can go over to video transitions and we can get creative with these transitions. So we could go down to something like um, spiral wipe, for example, and then you've got this sort of trippy type spiral wipe. So we can go in there and we can adjust a few other parameters. So I'm just gonna go over to border and then just feather. And as you can see, when I adjust the border, it just helps feather out the edges just a little bit. And then you can do that with the other one. It's feather, go about halfway. And then now when I play this back, we've got this like glitch effect transition type thing. This just helps smooth it out. You can use a traditional dissolve if you want to. And yeah, so you can do that to all of those clips. So another way to do a prism blur effect inside of DaVinci Resolve is to just simply stay in the edit tab and you can go over to open effects and you can scroll all the way down to resolve stylize and then there's an effect called prism blur let's just click and drag and as you can see we've got something very similar so let's just go over to effects in the inspector window and you can adjust the blur strength um, aberration distance so you can see that the effects quite harsh here um, it's a bit more of a rainbow effect, so you've got like reds, greens, blues, purples, yellows. You can increase the aberration strength. Vignette sizing, that just adjusts, you know, the vignette. I prefer to not have a vignette, uh, vignette sharpness. And you can also adjust the position, so you can choose it on the X, Y axis. So this is the X axis, and then you can adjust the Y axis. And you can also animate it as well. So yeah, so now you've got this prism blur effect on your clip. So there's another way you can use this effect. So that's pretty much how to do the effect inside the edit tab, but we can actually go over, let's just delete this for now. Let's just delete that and we'll select this clip and we'll go back to the color window and we're going to use the effects on the right hand side and I'm gonna scroll all the way down to resolve stylize like just before. So I'm gonna scroll down to prism blur and just before I add prism blur, I'm actually going to go Alt S and create a new node just so we can add the prism blur effect onto the second node instead of the first node. I usually like doing things that way just so I have this base node nice and clean and there's nothing adjusted in there. So let's just go to the second node and let's adjust the blur and strength. So I might make this pretty blurry and I might adjust it on the X and Y. Um, let's just adjust that and as you can see when I adjust the position you can see this little widget here so if you don't want to go over here and adjust the X and Y you can actually go over here and adjust it that way the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the window again and just add another one of these power windows and as you can see there is no window popping up you can just see that the mask is there but you can't actually make any adjustments and to fix that you can just go down to the effects drop down menu over here and just choose power window and then we've got our mask over here so now we can adjust it so i might just bring this up so it's a bit like a vignette type effect and i'm just going to invert it just so the effect happens on the edges and not the whole frame so as you can see now we've got, let's just turn this off. So now we've got this prism blur effect just on the edges, just so um, it's nice and subtle. So now we've got this really awesome RGB split effect inside of DaVinci Resolve without needing to go into the fusion tab. You can do this inside the color tab and the edit tab. So yeah, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay notified for my next uploads. And I'll see you guys next time.